Have you ever made a bunch of changes and then realized that play mode was on? Or perhaps you'd like to opt to keep the changes made in play mode when you exit? Whatever your circumstance may be, I've done some digging and found some solutions that may work for you. Also, if you're in a panic and are currently in play mode but need to save some changes, stay in play mode and watch till the end of this video as you may be able to save all that work. Before I get into the methods, I want to mention that these tips aren't complete fixes. And that's because there aren't any complete fixes. Apart from a few responses in their forum and this video, there's not much feedback from Unity regarding saving game objects during runtime. Unity mentioned that the desire for this functionality is known, but years have passed and there's still no great fixes for this. So here's some of the fixes that we do have. Play mode tent. If this issue happens to you on accident, one great thing to do is to change Unity's color when in play mode. To do this, click Edit, Preferences, Colors, and select the Play Mode Tint. I'm going to give mine a little bit of a green color. And then once you have your color, go ahead and click the X. And when you press Play, Unity will now have a tint telling you that you're in Play Mode. Component Copy. Here's the fix that Unity provided in their video. If you have one game object and you change one of its component values, such as the transform component, you can click these three dots here, press copy component, and then when you exit out of play mode, you can select the game object, click those three dots for the component you changed, and press paste component values. In my case, the game object's transform component went back to where it was when I was in play mode. Full copy. So here I am in play mode, and let's say I want to test some stuff with my game object during runtime to decide if I want it or if I don't want it. So let's scale this cube up, we'll rotate it. We'll add a rigid body. Oh, let's make that static so I don't lose it. Add a box glider. Make the box glider smaller. And so on. Let's say that I really love these changes that I made. And I want to keep them. To do that, I can click my game object in the hierarchy. Copy. And then press play to escape play mode. Everything reverts back, but I did copy that object during runtime, so I can delete the old one and paste the new one. So now I have that game object that I created with all of the components that I changed and added right here. The only downside to this method is you may lose references if you had a script attached and it was referenced to things. So you may have to redo those references. But this is a good way to copy one or multiple game objects, all of their components, and then get new ones. Prefab copy. So this method's pretty similar to the last one. Say so you're in play mode and you make changes to the game object. If you feel like you're happy with those changes, you could drag your game object into the project window to create a prefab. If you exit play mode, all the changes will revert once again, but you can drag your prefab into the scene. If you don't want it to be a prefab anymore, you can right click and select unpack prefab completely. You may also want to delete your prefab from the project window. Third party tools. My last suggestion would be to either create or find a third-party tool. In my case, I have found a free tool on GitHub created by Inkle that's called Save Play Mode Changes in Unity. At the bottom here, it says it's Creative Commons Zero, meaning you don't have to give any credit to them, but you definitely should. 
Um, it was really nice of him to leave this here. He has a Twitter link, so definitely give him a follow and a shout out. But if you want to give it a try, click this green code button and press download zip. You'll then need to extract the zip file to come up with something like this. Click on assets and then drag this play mode saver folder into your project window. Now here's where the magic of that script comes in. Let's say that I'm in play mode and I made a bunch of changes and I want to keep all the changes that I made. What I can do is go to my hierarchy, create an empty game object, and attach the save play mode changes script to the game object. That script is in the saver component folder of the zip that we just downloaded. So once you have the script attached to the empty game object, you then need to attach all the game objects that you want saved as children. So we'll attach all of our game objects here. Just to confirm everything's going to work, you can go to your parent game object and make sure the script is attached and press play. So we also kept the current ones, but if we look in our empty game object, we have all of those saved components, which we could then, if we want, move out of that empty game object and be good to go. So while there's some flaws, you know, we kept our old game objects and so on, we were able to save the changes that we made. And the good thing about this is you can just have a game object, just in general, attach a script, and just work under that script. So you could do it as a one-time thing like we just did in the example, or we could do it as more of a permanent thing and say, hey, whenever I test anything that's a child of this game object, I want whatever I do in runtime to stay. So if I move it over here in runtime, it's going to stay over there in runtime. So there are some flaws, and he even highlights it in that GitHub page. But so far, I found this is a great solution for this issue, considering that Unity hasn't really provided us with any more solutions than what I offered in this video. So if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. If this is helpful, please let me know as well. Have a good one, and see you next time.